YouTube. What's going on? It's your boy Mike McFly, and you're watching McFly Collectibles. Today's video, I got two Funko Pops that I got from a local comic book store in the Bronx. One of them is a Glow in the Dark, and the other one is a WWE Chase. So without further ado, let's get straight to the video. Funko family, I hope everybody's having a blessed day today. Just want to remind all the new people watching my video, hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell to get alerted on all my new videos. So today's video went to a local comic book store randomly and when I went in there, I wasn't expecting, I was actually there just to look and I was with my boy Jay Stone. He was there to look for the Star Wars Black, um, Black Series figures, which are cool by the way, those are great collectibles. And um, I ended up looking towards their pop wall and I saw a pop that was an Entertainment Earth exclusive and for some reason, the fact that a lot of these comic book stores are having them first and I pre-order mines and it hasn't came in yet, it, it's very upsetting. So the first one I want to get out the way is a WWE Chase Pop. And I was excited that they had this there at a good price for $30. And it's the uh, WWE Naomi number 75 Glow in the Dark Chase. I needed this pop. Once again, you guys know I'm a big WWE fan. So yeah, so... I have a lot of WWE Pops. There's more coming. I did the uh, Pop King Paul auction uh, this past weekend, and I got me two WWE Grails at a great deal. And so, yeah, so, but this Pop, obviously, is a glow-in-the-dark. Let me uh, let me put the bag down, as you can see. Mint condition box, too. That's what I love about this comic book store. So far, it, the comic book store is called Collect the Cave in the Bronx. Great comic book store. And I put the Instagram on top, and here's the factory code on the bottom. And yeah, so um, the comic book store, they get their pops, they get um, some, I believe they got hot toys, they get also uh, Black Series figures, WWE figures, uh, Marvel Legends, they have a whole bunch of stuff and it's, it's nice in there. Like sometimes you get in there and you really in a way don't want to leave, so it's pretty cool. And they also have comic books, so yeah, it's mainly a comic book store. But yeah, so this chase right here is obviously a glow in the dark. The details on it, what's cool about this chase is that the glow is awesome. She's basically dressed up in her entrance, so when Naomi comes out, she was the former SmackDown Women's Champion. I believe a three-time SmackDown Women's Champion. And the glow on this is basically from her entrance, and yo, this is the best glow I've seen on a WWE Funko Pop. Like, the glow on this is sick. Like, it's bright, it, it's perfect, the sculpture is nice, the painting is nice. I like this pop. This one, I, I'm de I knew I had to get it, but when I seen it, it was a must-have. So, I'm happy that now I have another WWE pop, another WWE chase added to my collection. So now, let's get to that Entertainment Earth exclusive that I was telling you guys in the beginning of the video. So, once again, Entertainment Earth, I don't know what's going on with their shipping. But, yeah, they it sucks because comic book stores are getting this pop. And I, I got it now before. I, they say, I think they told me October, November, something like that. And then I'm seeing comic book stores get it. And I'm like, why are they getting it first? Why not the people who are... I have an account with Entertainment Earth. So, why not the people who have an account with Entertainment Earth are not getting them first? But, yeah. So... This pop is awesome. I've been dying to get this. And it's the Marvel Zombie Wolverine number 662 Glow in the Dark. This pop is fire, guys. So once again, getting this from, uh, from Collector's Cave. Box is in mint condition. No damage on top. No damage on the bottom. Factory code right there on the bottom. And guys, I had to get this. You know I'm trying to not complete the whole Marvel Zombie land, but I'm trying to get all the hot ones. And this pop, the details on this, the glow is great. So obviously it's Wolverine. Everybody knows Wolverine. His, what I like about this is that the glow is around his animantium. From around his jaw, his chest, his arms, the, the glow is fire. So I, I, I'm happy with this pop. It doesn't have enough glow, but you know what? It's fine. It's enough. The painting on these, on these Marvel zombie lines, the painting on these pops is sick. The painting, the sculpture, they took their time with this. I love this pop. This is not leaving my collection. I don't, I don't have a lot of Wolverines. I, I probably have the X, um, X-23, which is not really Wolverine. That's in the movies. That was like his daughter. You know what I'm saying? But um, I have X-23. I have Wolverine as, and when he was an X-Force. I have Logan. And I think I had old school Wolverine. So that's the only Wolverines I have. And this one, this one is the best Wolverine, in my opinion. The best Wolverine. This Wolverine is lit. Trust me. You guys need to get this Wolverine. Because the price on this is going to go up, I say, a year from now. Funko family, there you have it. Glow in the dark, Wolverine, Entertainment Earth exclusive, and a nice WWE Chase Pop, Naomi. 
Both pops are great. Both pops are glow in the darks. Once again, I went into the store in the Bronx, collected the cave, was not expecting nothing, was just there to look, and I walked out with these two bad boys. So I, I like that now I have these two added to my collection. So uh, I've recently told you guys early in the video that I did an auction from Pop King Paul um, this past weekend and also last weekend too, because he had a back-to-back -back weekends, he had auctions on the WhatNot app. It's a great app if you're a Funko collector. It's a great app. They got fig pins up there. They do dorbs, obviously Funko Pops, and um, sodas, Funko sodas. It's a great app especially for the auctions so i'm gonna do a video on that I, it just came in actually so i'm basically trying to set everything up for that video and then also did another uh auction last week there was about two auctions actually three auctions i did last week now that i remember because once you get to these auctions and you see how you could get these for these um the prices for these pops in mint condition it gets a little addicting uh, i did a mystery pop theater he did an auction and I did Smile Warp. They did an auction, so I got a pop from there. So yeah, so uh, I'm gonna basically do videos on those once the rest of the pops come in the mail. But yeah, guys, the One Not app, if you're a fungal collector, check that app out. It's a good app to get pops. Guys, I'd like to thank you for taking time out your day to watch my videos. You're watching McFly Collectibles. Till then, I'm out.